Putin's 56 million pound warplane destroyed in devastating Ukraine attack on air base. Vladimir Putin has faced another blow after Russia's 56 million pound warplane was allegedly blown up by Ukrainian forces. It is believed that among the destroyed or seriously damaged aircraft is a Bereave B-200, an incredibly rare aircraft. The extent of the damage remains unknown, however, it has been reported that the satellite images from Planet Labs imply significant damage to one of the B-200s, costing around 56 million pounds. According to Aircraft 24, the warplane is capable of taking off from and landing on both land and sea. Welcome everyone to our YouTube channel Eagle Sound Studio. I'm Andrew, we're thrilled to have you join us on this exciting journey of exploration, learning, and entertainment. Whether you're here for insightful discussions, captivating storytelling, or just looking for some good old-fashioned fun, you're in the right place. Our channel is dedicated to bringing you a diverse range of content that sparks curiosity, ignites imagination, and fosters meaningful connections. From thought-provoking documentaries to lighthearted comedy sketches, from in-depth tutorials to thrilling adventures, there's something here for everyone. But most importantly, this channel is about community. We want to hear from you. Your thoughts, your feedback, your ideas, they all matter to us. So don't hesitate to engage with us in the comments, share your favorite videos with friends, and be a part of our growing family. Together, let's embark on this incredible journey of discovery and entertainment. Thank you for choosing to be a part of our community. Now, sit back, relax, and let the fun begin. Barkles. And before we dive into our content, we have a small favor to ask. If you enjoy what you see and want to support our channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button below. By subscribing, you'll stay up to date with all our latest uploads and become an integral part of our community. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Your likes help boost our visibility and spread the word to others who might enjoy our content just as much as you do. Lastly, sharing is caring. If you think your friends, family, or colleagues would enjoy our videos, we'd greatly appreciate it if you shared our channel with them. Let's spread the joy of discovery and entertainment together. Thank you for your support, and let's make this journey unforgettable. Let's dive in. In the ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine, Recent reports have surfaced of a significant blow to Russia's military might. A 56 million pound warplane, purportedly belonging to Russian President Vladimir Putin's fleet, has been reportedly obliterated in a devastating attack on an air base in Ukraine. This development marks a pivotal moment in the conflict, potentially altering the dynamics of the region's geopolitical landscape. The ramifications of this event are yet to be fully realized but it undoubtedly adds a new chapter to the already tense relationship between the two nations. Russia reportedly had just three of the versatile aircrafts, making the potential destruction of one more significant. It comes after Ukraine's infrastructure was hit at the mercy of Russian missiles. Ukraine has seen a series of drone and missile attacks damaging its energy infrastructure over recent days. Chiefs say they can count on one hand, the thermal and hydro power plants across the country that are not yet badly damaged or totally destroyed. However, experts claim Ukraine's retaliation attacks are significantly degrading Russia's once formidable Black Sea fleet. Ukraine has indeed made remarkable strides in the Black Sea over the past two years, Dr. Leon Hartwell told the Daily Express. It has significantly degraded Russia's once formidable Black Sea fleet, rendering a third of it inoperable and compelling the remainder into retreat. The Black Sea holds paramount importance for both Ukraine and Russia due to its strategic location, influencing military strategies, economic endeavors, and geopolitical trajectories. Last week, it was reported that thousands of Russian troops were fleeing the front line in Ukraine as asylum claims from Russia surge. Neighboring countries are split over whether to accept those fleeing poor conditions with some seeing them as potential assets with others fearing they pose a risk to national security. Activist groups have helped more than 520 active duty soldiers and officers flee this year. The conflict between Russia and Ukraine has entered a critical phase with reports of a devastating attack on an airbase, resulting in the destruction of a 56 million pound warplane allegedly linked to Russian President Vladimir Putin. 
This development signifies a significant blow to Russia's military prowess and potentially alters the course of the ongoing conflict. The attack on the airbase, believed to be situated in Ukraine, was reportedly executed with precision, targeting high-value military assets. The destruction of the warplane, purportedly belonging to Putin's fleet, underscores the escalating hostilities between the two nations. The exact details of the attack, including the weapon reused and the extent of the damage, are still emerging. The ramifications of this attack extend beyond the immediate military setback for Russia. It has the potential to shift the geopolitical landscape in the region. The targeted strike on a symbol of Russian military might send a clear message of defiance from Ukraine and its allies. It could embolden other nations to take a stronger stance against Russian aggression and prompt a reassessment of international alliances. The attack on the warplane comes amidst already heightened tensions between Russia and Ukraine. The conflict, which began with Russia's annexation of Crimea in 2014, has since escalated into a protracted and bloody confrontation. Both sides have accused each other of aggression, leading to a significant loss of life and widespread displacement of civilians. The latest attack only exacerbates these tensions and raises concerns of further escalation. As the dust settles from the attack, the future of the conflict remains uncertain. Will this incident serve as a catalyst for renewed diplomatic efforts to end the fighting, or will it escalate into a full-blown war? The international community faces the challenge of finding a peaceful resolution to the crisis while balancing geopolitical interests and ensuring the protection of human rights. The coming days and weeks will be critical in determining the course of events and shaping the future of the region. In conclusion, the destruction of a 56 million pound warplane in a devastating attack on an airbase in Ukraine marks a pivotal moment in the ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine. This event not only represents a significant blow to Russia's military capabilities, but also underscores the escalating tensions in the region. As details continue to emerge and the international community grapples with the implications of this attack, the future remains uncertain. However, one thing is clear. The need for a concerted effort to find a peaceful resolution to the conflict has never been more urgent. The coming days and weeks will be crucial in determining the trajectory of events and shaping the geopolitical landscape of the region for years to come. Vladimir Putin tests nuclear-capable missile in eerie warning to the West. In a dramatic display of military prowess, Russian President Vladimir Putin has recently overseen the testing of a nuclear-capable missile, sending an eerie warning to the West. This provocative move comes amidst escalating tensions between Russia and Western powers, raising concerns about the possibility of a new arms race and the threat of nuclear confrontation. As Putin flexes Russia's military muscle, the world watches with a mixture of apprehension and alarm, pondering the implications of this ominous display of force on the delicate balance of global security. The Russian Defense Ministry launched the missile in the Kapustin Yar, stating that the test achieved its results in full. Putin has test-launched an intercontinental ballistic missile in a frightening new warning to the West. The launch took place at the Kapustin Yar testing range in the Arstrakhan, with footage released by the Russian Defense Ministry showing the missile rising through the sky. The ministry said the test came as part of state testing of prospective missile systems, as well as confirmation of the stability of missiles in service. They stated that the test achieved its results in full, and confirmed the high reliability of Russian missiles to ensure Russia's strategic security. The type of missile used was not specified, however. A Kremlin spokesperson revealed that it was dispatched from a mobile land-based launcher. Locals who witnessed the launch likened the missile to a strange object passing through the sky, with some dubbing it a space jellyfish. The launch comes exactly a year since Putin tested a new model of Putin's Topol series, currently referred to as Topolami. It was fired from Kapustrin Yar, the same test site as Friday's launch. The ministry said the April 2023 launch was aimed at testing the advanced military supply of intercontinental ballistic missiles, according to TASS. It was launched on April 12th, the day Russians mark as Cosmonautics Day which commemorates Yuri Gagarin's journey into space aboard the Vostok 1 spacecraft in 1961. It is not believed to be a Satan II nuclear missile, 
which is capable of carrying 10 or more nuclear warheads. Russia was expected to put the 208-ton missile on duty at the end of 2022, however, they have been marred with testing delays. Kremlin propagandists previously boasted one strike could sink the UK under the sea. But Downing Street dismissed the claim, labeling it another example of disinformation. Russian telegram channel VCHKOGPU reported last month, the Krasnoyarsk machine-building plant is experiencing a serious shortage of electronic components for production of strategic missiles. The electronics of the new RS-28 Sarmat missile system are largely of foreign origin and, due to sanctions, they are experiencing a serious shortage. Now all efforts are being made to somehow correct the situation with the supply of sanctioned electronics. The testing of a nuclear-capable missile under the supervision of Russian President Vladimir Putin has reignited fears and speculation about the intentions and capabilities of Russia's military arsenal. This development represents a continuation of Russia's assertive posture on the global stage and its willingness to showcase its military might. Putin's decision to oversee the testing personally adds a layer of significance to the event, signaling his personal endorsement of Russia's military capabilities and his readiness to confront perceived threats, both internal and external. The timing of the missile test is particularly notable, occurring against the backdrop of strained relations between Russia and the West over issues such as Ukraine, Syria, and allegations of Russian interference in Western democracies. Moreover, the designation of the missile as nuclear-capable adds a chilling dimension to the situation, raising concerns about the potential for nuclear escalation in any future conflict involving Russia. This testing serves as a stark reminder of the enduring specter of nuclear warfare and the catastrophic consequences it could entail for global security and stability. The message conveyed by Putin's demonstration of military strength is clear. Russia is prepared to defend its interests and assert its influence on the world stage, regardless of the potential risks or consequences. This bold display of power is likely intended to intimidate adversaries and deter any perceived challenges to Russia's strategic objectives. However, the testing of a nuclear-capable missile also underscores the urgent need for dialogue and diplomacy to mitigate the risk of miscalculation and escalation. As tensions between Russia and the West continue to simmer, diplomatic channels must remain open to prevent the situation from spiraling out of control. In summary, Putin's oversight of the testing of a nuclear-capable missile serves as a stark reminder of the enduring threat posed by nuclear weapons and the complexities of managing great power rivalries in the contemporary geopolitical landscape. As the world grapples with the implications of Russia's military assertiveness, the imperative for responsible leadership and constructive dialogue has never been greater. The recent testing of a nuclear-capable missile under Vladimir Putin's supervision represents a significant escalation in Russia's assertive posture on the global stage. This demonstration of military strength sends a clear warning to the West and underscores the enduring specter of nuclear warfare in international relations. As tensions between Russia and Western powers continue to mount, the need for responsible leadership and diplomatic engagement becomes increasingly urgent. The risk of miscalculation and escalation in a highly volatile environment cannot be overstated, highlighting the imperative for dialogue and de-escalation efforts. Ultimately, the missile test serves as a sobering reminder of the fragility of global security and the stakes involved in managing great power rivalries. It underscores the importance of constructive engagement, mutual respect, and adherence to international norms and agreements to navigate the complex challenges facing the world today. Only through sustained diplomatic efforts and a commitment to peaceful resolution can the risks posed by nuclear-capable arsenals be effectively addressed, ensuring a safer and more stable future for all. As we conclude our coverage of the recent events surrounding the testing of a nuclear-capable missile by Vladimir Putin, we want to extend our sincerest gratitude to all our viewers. Your interest and engagement with this critical issue are greatly appreciated. We understand the importance of staying informed and engaged in matters that impact global security and stability, and we're honored that you've chosen to join us in this discussion. As we continue to provide updates and insights on developments around the world, 
we invite you to stay tuned and return to our channel for future coverage. Your support and participation are invaluable to us, and we look forward to welcoming you back for more in-depth analysis and thought-provoking discussions. Thank you once again for being a part of our community, and until next time, stay informed, stay engaged, and stay safe. Before you go, we have a quick favor to ask. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you'll stay updated on all our latest videos and help support us in bringing you more content like this in the future. Your subscription means the world to us, and we appreciate your support. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. Thank you for being a part of our community, and we look forward to having you with us for future discussions and insights.